guys, this is Chris Time FK7. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be changing my Amazon duckbill spoiler into an American modified duckbill spoiler. Let's go. So the current duckbill I have, I purchased on Amazon, which I also made a video on. So if you're interested in that, I will be linking it down below. Or you can look up here. I will be putting like a card up here. So just go ahead and click it if you want to watch it. But a company called American Modified reached out to me and sent over a duckbill that is for the FK7 or, you know, that the hatchback models. It would fit on the Type R, but I don't recommend it because it's gonna look a little bit weird uh, because the Type R already has a wing. Unless you have that Type R without the wing, then you know you can always put this duckbill. But anyways, uh, in this video, we're gonna be installing the American modified duckbill onto the car, uh, as well as I'm gonna be sharing with you guys uh, my thoughts of it. And I'm gonna do a little comparison between the Amazon one versus the new one that we're gonna be installing on this car. Starting off with taking off my current duck bill. Let's get to it. I didn't realize that my camera died, so I'm just gonna use my phone for now. So basically, this is what the old duck bill looks like. It's a pretty small duck bill that I got from Amazon. And, you know, it, it looks good. Um, it looks really good on the car, honestly. But American Modified sent me a bigger duck bill, which will be replacing the Amazon duck bill that I have on the car currently um, so what I basically did was in order for me to get the duckbill off I sprayed a little bit of goo gone I have my heat gun with me as well even though it's currently 65 ish degrees outside already this is my little squeegee that I have which I'll also link down below in the description I wrapped it around with a microfiber towel just like that and what i did was i pried open this side first just like that pried it open right about right there and then i grabbed my shoestring or you can use like any string but i prefer like a shoe like a shoelace um, because these are more durable. I sprayed a couple squirts of Goo Gone on this. A couple sprays here on the side. Just like that. Then I take my shoelace. Give it a few minutes. And then I basically take my shoelace and just start going like this. Then you want to take your squeegee and just pry it closer to where you're doing the shoelace. Best if you wear gloves because it does take a toll on your hands. And now you took off your duck bill. We still have these little double sided tape on the car. So you're just going to do your best to peel them off like this. For the parts where um, it left like some sort of residue, just spray some Goo Gone, wipe it off, and it'll come right off. Just remember to wash your car like right after this. I got most of the adhesion off. Uh, there's some little bits here and there, um, but we are going to be sticking on a different duckbill on this. So I'm just going to get most of it off. Like this one right here. But for the most part, the duckbill came off really good. Uh, we did get some scratches here and there. Like this one right there, as you can see. But again, the duckbill is going to be covering this. So I'm not too, too worried about it. Um, it's only if you, you're planning on permanently taking off the duckbill that's when it becomes an issue. So the main tools that you're gonna be needing to install this duckbill on the FK7 is just double-sided tape that I got from your, you know, like your local Home Depot. Uh, it's fairly cheap. I spent about like $15 on this. We're basically just gonna flip it over. And then this is the side that you want to install um, the double-sided tape onto. 
So what I do is I like to cut these into like little pieces, just like that. And then I just stick them on the duck bill. And you want to make sure that you get as close as possible to the edges. We're basically just going to take off all this red stuff. You're just gonna put it on, but don't don't apply pressure. Otherwise, you won't have any room for adjustments. Uh, so we're just gonna go like this, make sure that it's lined up. Again, don't put any pressure just yet because you wanna make sure that it's perfectly even. And once you think it's even, you can go ahead and apply pressure. And there you go, there is the finished result. So this is a comparison between the two. Obviously this is the old. And as you can see, it ends right here. Whereas the new one, it covers this whole portion of the tail light. And it's not that big. Um, I mean, it's better than stock. The duck belt does not cover the whole bottom spoiler. Uh, it leaves about this much left. Um, so it covers most of it, but um, you know, it's, it's fine. Uh, and then there's like a little design right here. I really do like this design uh, because it adds a little bit of character to the duck bill, as well as these little side flaps right here, uh, which there's like, uh, there's like a point, it's like a pointed end, uh, which again, re looks really nice. So that's the only downside to this duck bill, I guess. Um, because if you're looking behind, um, sometimes you won't be able to see, like if there's a police chasing after you without their sirens on, uh, there's a good, there's a slim chance that you may or may not be able to see them. So like there's two cars behind me right now and the duck bill is kind of covering them. Uh, because if we look up here, you see that there's two cars but this duck bill is covering both of them so yeah there you go so this right here is the Amazon wing uh, this is what it looks like as you can see it's not really blocking the rear view um, mirror or the rear view window uh, I can still see the car that's behind me, uh, whereas the new duck bill that's on the FK7, uh, you won't be able to see this car. Uh, maybe you'll see the roof, but it blocks like half of the car. Whereas the Amazon one, you don't really, it doesn't really block anything. So there's a comparison between the two. In conclusion, I really do like this duck bill that American Modified uh, has sent to me. Uh, it really gives the car such an aggressive look. It's way more aggressive than the one that you can get from on Amazon, uh, which was the duck bill that I had before. Uh, but this one, I prefer it. However, I do have to point out that it does kind of block um, the, the cars behind you. It's a lot worse in person uh, than in video. But like if there is a person behind you uh, and there were about like, I would say about like 15 feet away from you, you're not gonna be able to see it uh, because of the duck bill that's covering it. But you know, it's fine. For the most part, when you're at a traffic light, you'll be able to see them. Um, and then of course, you can use your side mirrors to, you know, look behind you. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it's perfectly fine back there. But yeah, anyways, if you're interested in purchasing the same duck bill for your hatchback, I will be linking it down below. Uh, it is painted gloss black. Uh, however, the one on Amazon is a lot more glossier black. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out. But this one is fine. Uh, it, it does still match the car and it did come with double-sided tape. Uh, I just, you know, it was just too thin for my liking. Uh, so I went out and bought like a thicker double-sided tape uh, so that it can support more weight. Whereas those little tiny little flimsy ones, I'll show you what I mean. This is what it looks like 
this is the um, the tape that it came with. It, it also has like a, I guess this is like an alcohol pad so that you can clean off uh, your lower spoiler back there. But this right here, it's a really thin tape. I just chose to purchase, you know, um, a thicker, more durable tape. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think of this video or if you have any future video suggestions that I should be making in the future, comment down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do 10th gen Honda Civic content. Um, in the future, I might be doing a little bit of Accord videos since we do have an Accord. But yeah, mainly I do videos of FK7 and FK8. Uh, videos on the channel so if you're into that kind of things be sure to hit that subscribe button and you know support the channel uh, we're about to hit 17,000 so 3,000 remaining until we hit 20k so that's a pretty big milestone and um, thank as always thank you guys for your support I'll see you on the next video peace out